Hello friends and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Vipesh Sharma Biology Tutorials and in this video we are going to start our new topic that is gene interactions and the very first example of gene interaction is complementary genes. So we are talking about complementary genes in, the, in this particular video. Before that I would like to tell you that I am active on Unacademy so you can follow me on Unacademy by clicking on this particular link given in the description below. This is the logo of Unacademy by which you can easily identify the Unacademy app on Google Play Store and you can download that particular app for better learning experience and you can follow different kind of educators on Unacademy's app as well. Or you can see that I have made all my lectures on molecular basis of inheritance and some important topics of human reproductive biology. So let's start our topic of discussion that is complementary genes. So as the name indicates we will talk about a very simple trick by which we will be easily memorizing the concept of complementary genes. So what is complementary genes? Okay. The one gene will complement the other gene. Okay. One gene will complement the other gene. It means that the other gene will not be able to work. Okay. In absence of the other gene. So both the genes if dominant then only they are going to express. If even a single gene is recessive, they will not express at all. It means the complementary genes may dono genes ka ek dusre ko complement karna bahut zaruri hai. Dono ka dominant hona bahut zaruri hai. If even a single gene from both the genes is recessive, then there will be no expression at all. Right? So let's talk about the theory. Two genes present on different locus since we are talking about non-allelic gene interactions. So they are obviously going to be present on different locus that interact to produce dominant phenotypic character. The phenotypic character is going to be dominant. Okay. Neither of them if present alone can express. This is the simple meaning of complementary genes that if any of the gene is present alone in the dominant form, it is not going to express. For the proper expression, both the genes must be in the dominant condition. You will further see the cross in this video. वहाँ पे आपको पूरा समझ में आ जाएगा कि हम किस बारे में बात कर रहे थे कि दोनों का dominant होना जरूरी है या फिर एक भी recessive होगा तो कैसे वो express नहीं करेगा उसके बारे में हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं। Okay, so the most simple trick is expression will only be present if both are dominant. If you will find even a single gene homozygous recessive, अगर आप उसे properly recessive पाते हैं, so there will be no expression in case of complementary genes. This is the very simple trick. अगर कहीं भी आपको homozygous recessive चीज दिखती है, it means that that is not going to express at all. It means that even a single gene is recessive, there is no expression. This is the most simplest meaning of complementary genes. Since both the genes used to complement each other, so if even one of them is recessive, there will be no expression at all. There will be no expression, no formation of proteins, right? So Batson and Punnett has given a particular cross to you know uh, identify the complementary genes or unhone kar dikhaya by experimenting on sweet pea and the sweet pea is known as Lathyrus odoratus. There is a lot of difference between pea and sweet pea. The normal garden pea is Pisum sativum but we are talking about sweet pea in this particular case that is Lathyrus odoratus. So Batson and Punnett ne kis cheez pe experiment kiya tha? Sweet pea or Lathyrus odoratus this forms a very important question in itself. So you have to memorize that. Okay, so there are two genes. One is C and one is P. You can understand it as carrier point, a very famous coaching. So carrier point, say, aap log download kar sakte hai. Or if you are from Delhi, you can, you know, learn it from cannot place. I hope you all know about cannot place very well. So CP, agar aap baat kare. So CP are the two genes. And if they are capital, they are going to be dominant. So these C and P are dominant. If both of these are dominant, that is, if they are complementing each other, the flower will be of purple color. But if even a single C is recessive or single P is recessive or both of them are recessive, the plant is going to be white. Okay, this is quite important that if even a single one from C or P or both of them are recessive, there will be no expression of purple color, the flower is going to be white. Why? Because C gene is responsible for the production of an enzyme that catalyzes the formation of raw material for synthesis of anthocyanin. Anthocyanin kya hota hai? Jo flower mein color provide karta hai. That pigment is known as anthocyanin. So that color providing pigment is formed from some raw materials. And that raw material are synthesized by an enzyme which is catalyzed by gene C. Because each gene is what? 
the fragment of DNA that will form mRNA by transcription and that mRNA will then form protein and that proteins are nothing but enzymes. So the C gene will form an enzyme which will make raw material for the synthesis of anthocyanin and the gene P will synthesize another enzyme that will convert the raw material synthesized by gene C into anthocyanin. It means that for the production of anthocyanin, both the things are needed. The raw material is obviously needed. If someone says, roti and you don't give it, where will you make it? So, the first thing is for each and everything, if somebody wants to make bread, he obviously needs dough. Okay? So, that dough is the raw material and some things uh, which are, uh, you know, converting raw material that is dough into the bread are also very important. So, both the genes must express to form anthocyanin because if there are no raw material then the P will have no role because there is no substrate for this enzyme to act on and if there is uh, the presence of C that is raw material and if there is no enzyme to convert it into anthocyanin then also there will be no purple color so anthocyanin formation needs both of these things to be present okay so C and P both must be present okay both must be present to form the anthocyanin if even a C is absent or C is recessive or P is absent or P is recessive there will be white flowers because there will be no production of anthocyanin for the production of anthocyanin both gene C and gene P are needed right now let's talk about the cross which is very important so we are crossing two white plants okay white flowers we can say so capital C capital C which is dominant but small p small p this is recessive and due to the lack of enzyme which converts the raw material into anthocyanin this is white and in this case small c small c is present it means that there will be no raw material for the production of anthocyanin so both of these are going to be colorless or white right there will be no violet color over here there is no purple color uh, the color is purple in actual so there will be no purple color over here right koi purple color nahi hoga both of these conditions are going to be white because there is homozygous recessive condition in gene p there is homozygous recessive condition in gene C but both of them are needed in dominant phase so dono hi white honge after that they will form gamete so there is no other choice to make other gametes there is capital C which will be combining with small p so capital C small p will the gamete from this parent and small c capital P will be the gamete from this parent right and they will combine with each other to form the F1 uh, generation and the F1 generation is going to be capital C, small c, capital P, small p. That is going, uh, it is going to be the F1 generation. When we will do selfing in this F1 generation, we can easily form gametes. I have told you a trick to form the gametes. This capital C will first form gamete with capital P. So capital C, capital P, then capital C, small p, then small c, capital P, and then small c, small p. These are going to be the four gametes in this direction and the same gametes in this direction as well. Right? And after that, we will be combining them in a Punnett square. So this is the Punnett square in which we will be combining all these possible gametes. So capital C, capital C, capital P, capital P. This is the case. In this case, let's say the last one. Small c, capital C, small p, capital P. So this will be the progeny. So agar aap yahan par dekho, so in many cases, there is homozygous dominant homozygous dominant so both are dominant the color will be purple okay in this case also this is heterozygous dominant but overall it is going to be dominant so this is also purple this is also purple this is also purple this is also purple this is not going to be purple because there is small p small p there is recessive case so it will not produce the enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of raw material into anthocyanin so ye kya hai white hoga ye bhi white hoga ye bhi white hoga ye bhi white hoga ये भी वाइट होंगे जहां पर एक भी बार रिसेसिव दिखाई दे रहा है स्मॉल पी स्मॉल पी इज रिसेसिव स्मॉल सी स्मॉल सी इज रिसेसिव स्मॉल सी स्मॉल सी स्मॉल सी स्मॉल पी स्मॉल पी स्मॉल सी स्मॉल सी ओके देयर आर मेनी थिंग्स व्हिच आर रिसेसिव इन दिस केस सो अगर यहां पर हम लोग इन सब चीजों का टेस्ट करें सो देयर आर गोइंग टू बी नाइन फ्लावर्स ऑफ पर्पल कलर एंड सेवन फ्लावर्स ऑफ वाइट कलर ओके एंड दिस इज नोन एज द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री रेशियो राइट इन द नॉर्मल केसेस the ratio is going to be 9 ratio 3 ratio 3 ratio 1 but in the gene interaction the ratio modifies itself and in this particular case the ratio becomes 9 ratio 7 this is quite important 
राइट सो नाइन रेशियो सेवन यहां पर हो जाएगा जो कि बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है सो यू हैव टू मेमोराइज दिस पर्टिकुलर रेशियो यू हैव टू मेमोराइज दैट द एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉज डन बाय बेटसन एंड पुनेट ऑन वट स्वीट पी दैट इज लथाइरस ऑडोरेटस एंड द रेशियो वॉज नाइन रेशियो सेवन सो देर आर नाइन पर्पल फ्लावर्स एंड सेवन व्हाइट फ्लावर्स सो वट मेक्स द पर्पल फ्लावर पर्पल पर्पल कैसे होते हैं वो क्योंकि उनमें दोनों के दोनों जीन्स क्या होते हैं डोमिनेंट होते हैं एज इन दिस केस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पर्पल राइट बिकॉज देर इज हेट्रोजाइगस डोमिनेंट कंडीशन एंड हेट्रोजाइगस डोमिनेट कंडीशन बट बोथ ऑफ दम आर डोमिनेंट सो दे विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग रॉ मटीरियल एज वेल एज द एंजाइम टू कन्वर्ट दैट रॉ मटीरियल इन टू प्रोडक्ट दैट इज एंथोसाइन इन सो द नाइन विल बी पर्पल एंड द सेवन विल बी वाइट दिस इज अबाउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री रेशियो ओके और द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री जीन्स कि कैसे उनमें जो क्रॉस होते हैं और कैसे नाइन रेशियो सेवन जो है हमारे पास आता है सो so, ये है उस पर्टिकुलर रेशियो का प्रूफ नाइन रेशियो सेवन कैसे आया उसका प्रूफ है ये ऐसे ही करके हम डोमिनेंट uh, एपिस्टेसिस रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस और बाकी सारे जो रेशियो हैं पॉलिजेनिक इनहेरिटेंस वगैरह उनको भी पढ़ेंगे और उन्हें आसानी से समझने की कोशिश करेंगे सो आई होप दैट यू लाइक दिस वीडियो अगर आपको पसंद आए दैन डू हेट लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू वॉचिंग माई वीडियो फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम एंड यू फाउंड इट बेनिफिशियल शेयर दिस वीडियो विद यर फ्रेंड्स एंड टेल दू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू थैंक यू सो मच